Hey guys, my name is Matt and I'm doing an unboxing and a review on the EST Axe Survival Camping Shovel. Um, first and foremost, I like the box that it came in and here's what you are getting. They tell you how many times I've gone camping and I needed a shovel or I, I needed a saw or I needed something that this shovel offers and I did not have it. So it comes in a very nice pouch. The reason it's not closing is because they have the pipes in um, bubble wrap. So I understand that. Oh, oh, I like that. Oh, compass, they didn't even tell me about the compass. I'm digging it, digging it, digging it, digging it. Oh, loving it, loving it, loving it. Oh, oh, very, very nice. Um, from the pictures, let me just say this, because from the pictures, you would think you're getting a huge shovel. This is a survival shovel. This is a camping shovel. It is a smaller shovel. The reason it is a smaller shovel is that you are throwing this in your backpack. You are throwing this in the back of your car. As far as the cases go, I'm gonna say I like it. I mean, honestly, the case is thick. I like this. I think this is pretty neat. You can put this there or you can take it off. Some people like it, some people don't. It won't even come off. That's how strong it is. Oh my goodness. They give you the tether if you're just gonna be going somewhere and you're hiking and this is all you're gonna bring. In, in reality, you can survive in the wilderness with just bringing this. Imagine getting hit over the head with that if you were a bear or a deer and that's just gonna get the game on the fire. So you have a ruler here, a bottle opener here, a blade here, and I want to tell you this, this right here is sharp. This is very, very sharp. You have a saw blade right here, and, and I tell you what, this could go through small saplings like nothing, but really what you could do is you could just take the shovel against a tree and it's going to just cut it. I love how versatile it is, and I love how you just tighten this thing up. I mean, you just put one piece on top of another. Hey, hey. The foam is not cheap. So that's what it looks like, guys. That is what it's looking like. Let's take this off on the end piece. And there you have your flint, which is awesome. Screwdriver, Phillips. You have an actual knife here with a saw. And I'm thinking it hooks up perhaps here yeah that's what it does and so you can saw on it i think that's a whistle that's look at that that's a whistle that's crazy so that's all you need when you're out in the woods man there's times when you need a whistle you don't need to go hey over here a, a whistle sound is very distinct rope on it's really nice you can tell there's grease on it and i want that you know what i'm saying a lot of people they're like oh there's grease all over it. no you want that oil on there that sheen keeps it from rusting so when we're looking at this we have to realize that this is a camping utensil it is a survival tool it packs up in a bag this small and it has the molly attachment, so you can attach it to your belt, you can attach it to your backpack, you can uh, use a, a hook on there. Um, you're protecting your blade with this. The blade is extremely thick, extremely durable. The foam on this, which is here and here, I'm telling you, I like it. Because I've been out there with a wooden shovel or a metal shovel for some time digging a hole, digging this, digging that. And this is the two places that you're going to get blisters. They've put a really, really upgraded, nice foam on this. Very dense, very strong. It's going to last you a long time. Uh, just insanely. The fit and finish is nice. I like the places here for, that you have that's likened unto a wrench. It's cutting a rope right here cutting through something 
But here's what I'm telling you. This thing is extremely sharp, meaning I, this is as sharp as a knife right here. And so if you're taking this unit and you're going and hitting it hard, like sideways, you're coming down like this on it. You're going to go through a sapling. You could go through an animal. This is kind of a self-defense weapon as well. Um, I'm going to give it five stars. I mean, it's, it's pricier than some of the other units that are out there. And here's the thing, but it's by far five and ten times better than those units. There are some cheap versions of this. Guys, you have to realize there are a ton of knockoffs of this type of utensil, whether it's a, a camping shovel, a survival shovel. I have yet to see one thus far that is this nice. This is the premium of the shovels. And I've come across, I'm telling you, I've probably seen about nine or 10. My buddies have these and there's a lot of them out there for, you know, 30, $40, but you get what you pay for. Okay. This is going to last you. This is something that you can honestly throw in the back of your Jeep, in the back of your truck, put it in the back of your backpack and it's going to be with you. It's going to help you. And I can't tell you early on how many times did I go out and I didn't have a shovel. It just seems like you always need a shovel, but you always forget a shovel. But if you can put this somewhere where it's there when you need it, guess what? You're going to be the better off for it. Hey, I hope this review helped you out. And again, I'm very impressed with it. I'm not kidding around. Very, very impressed. Just insanely impressed with the quality and what you are getting.